I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. Evie Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You help me with steric syrup. I am in your debt. We help each other, sir. My brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. What do you know of bones? Only a few of their names learned from books. Hmm. Perhaps it would be simpler if I just explained the situation. A few days ago, a German colleague, Dr. Schwartz, sent me a telegram. He informed me he was on his way to London to deliver a very important fossil, you see. In fact, he should arrive at Charing Cross any moment now. Would you ensure no harm comes to him? I'll ensure Dr. Schwartz's safety and make sure you get that fossil. Splendid! But please do be careful. Meaning of this, Mr. Darwin has sent me to ensure you reach him safely with your cargo intact. Just act naturally. Right. So, how is your father? By which I mean my dear brother Frank, with whom I grew up, of course. Oh, splendid! Wonderful to hear. I'll do my best not to call attention to how remiss he was in forgetting to warn me about the delicate situation which brings me here today. Finding a needle in a haystack, this is. Wouldn't hurt to know what the bugger looks like. Did she stutter? You've lost yourself a customer. What's the Dr. Schwartz? Never got on the train. Darwin's face is so I did so enjoy meeting you. We cannot Don't force me to kill you! Oh. 
I should deliver this to Mr. Darwin. Faster! Come on! Move it! Easy now. Go on. At last, my heart hasn't stopped pounding. You have it? Wonderful. But where is Dr. Schwartz? I'm afraid he was intercepted, sir, in Germany. However, I have recovered the fossil. Dear Lord, I should tell you, I was recently approached by men who sought to purchase all my research on the condition I work only for them. Obviously, I refused. Scientific knowledge cannot be bought. It belongs to everyone. Let these villains do their worst. <laughs>